Hi everyone! Today we're going to make pan fried dumplings, chicken and shrimp dumplings. Dumplings are so popular, everybody loves it, it's so delicious. Please leave a comment below and let me know what kind of dumplings you like most. Dumpling in Chinese, jiao zi, and there are all kinds of fillings. And you can make it with pork, with chicken, or with vegetables. Today I'm going to make it with chicken and shrimp. Let's make the filling first. I have about 8 ounce chicken tenders that I've already chopped finely and about I think it's a 7 shrimp chopped finely and of course you can use pork. For you guys again I wrote down the amount last time when I made it. I'm going to leave in the description box. You can follow that and we need to add uh, about a half teaspoon salt, some white pepper powder, soy sauce, about uh, one and a half tablespoons, sesame oil about a teaspoon and uh, this is uh, chopped uh, green onions just the white part the root part we always use that for flavors and we're going to grate some ginger Okay, and add some water. We'll add a few for a few times till we get uh, to the consistency we like. So mix this well. Probably a little bit more water because we want to get to the consistency, kind of like a gluey, not too dense, right? But meanwhile, it's not so watery. Just a little bit of water. Since we add uh, some water, I would add a little bit more soy sauce. And since I'm using chicken tenders, barely any fat. So in the end, we will drizzle some vegetable oil. Simple like that. That's how chicken and shrimp filling. And next we will make the dipping sauce. For the sauce, I mean there's all sorts of sauce. I like with a little bit of hot oil. So I have green onions chopped, garlic, if you can eat raw garlic. I just add a little bit. And uh, this homemade chili oil. A little bit of light soy sauce. This is uh, vinegar, dark vinegar. You can use rice vinegar. This is rice vinegar too, just dark color. And if you like, you can drizzle a little bit of sesame oil. Add a little bit of water and just mix this well. 
That's our dipping sauce. Let's wrap the dumplings. I have one pack of dumpling wrappers. Yeah, dumpling wrappers are round like this versus uh, wonton wrappers are square and thinner. I always have packs in my freezer. They're handy whenever I want to make them. Okay, so let's take... This. I'm going to show you a few ways, simple ways to make it. It's not uh, it intimidating at all. So you just have about a tablespoon like that, right? And dab some water. And then just seal all the edges. You can just leave like that, simple. Very easy, right? Or you can make like this. Seal it. And then we can just make some pleats like that. But you gotta pinch it, make sure it's all sealed tight, kind of like that. <laughs> and one time I went to my friend's house, she made even simpler version. So you just put filling in the middle and dab the water on top and bottom and just seal on top like this then push down make sure it's not coming out so they're like open dumplings but of course you cannot uh, boil them this is perfect for pan frying okay let's see other way to make it Dab some water and seal in the middle. Then push in like this. Here, push in like this. So dumplings. Let's make another kind. Is this fun making? It's good you can make with the family. Everybody participates. So you can just seal this. Like we did before with this one, but you can close it like that. Close it. But make sure you pinch it so they are sealed. Right? Simple. This is the last one. It's a big one. <laughs> Who will be lucky? So we produced, well, how many? 18 plus is 19 dumplings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you cannot finish them, um, store them in a zipper bag, put in the freezer. But make sure when you make it, don't defrost it. Do not defrost them. Here are our dumplings. We are ready to pan fry. Turn up the heat to high. Heat up our flat pan. Add some oil. I add uh, dumplings. So we just let the bottom fry a little bit. Now we add water. You 
can see just uh, halfway to the dumpling. And we'll cover it. Cook about uh, seven, eight minutes or till water almost gone. It's about uh, seven minutes. You can see the water almost out. Now we open the lid. Wow, they're beautiful, right? Let them brown about a minute. No need to move them around. After about a minute browning, our dumplings are ready. Let me show you. Is it beautiful? Let's eat. I'm ready to eat. Are you ready? This one's smiling to me. Mmm. Any more sauce? Mmm. The skin so crispy and the filling just perfect seasoning as not dense. The sauce is hot, sour, and a little bit garlicky. Perfect. Please, please try to make at home. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscri subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.